Hey there you guys, welcome back. Well, sorry for the echo, you're in upstairs and it's a wide open space at the moment and, uh, and yeah, there's a little bit of an echo. So, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a little bit of a house tour, uh, so I thought I'd do it. It's, it's getting close and uh, wasn't really feeling all that festive, we're not getting much snow, snow in this area, so I thought eh, maybe this will uh, put me in the spirit. So our house is definitely festive. But uh, when I go outside, not so much. Today it's above freezing, and there's no snow, and it's kind of muddy and gross. So I just thought I'd uh, do something to lift my mood. So uh, I also wanted to show you this Amaryllis. This is Amaryllis bacota, and uh, I'll bring you in a little bit closer when we do the tour. But it's starting to flower. It's going to open for Christmas, I think. Um, I haven't watered this one yet, but um, it's, uh, it's getting pretty light. I should give it a little bit of a drink. I haven't watered it since we, we potted it up, I don't know, a month and a half ago? It's been about six weeks. I'm not sure. You'll see when the video is uploaded. Uh, so yeah, wanted to show you that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the, uh, the tour. Uh, show me some photos on, on plants and things, maybe what your Christmas tree looks like. Tis the season. Uh, whatever you're uh, celebrating, uh, maybe you've got uh, some beautiful lights, some just something nice. Uh, let's lift the mood. So anyway, let's get to it. Let's uh, take a wander through. It's basically going to be the main floor of the house. We're still getting the lay of the land with this house. So we're still trying to figure out where things are going because we were decorating for our other house. So now the stuff doesn't fit like it used to. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. So this is the front, uh, the front living room. I wish that the, uh, the camera was more of a full frame camera because I can't seem to get everything in this. This is our old couch that we used to have upstairs in, in the sitting room. And uh, I just love it in this space. We were going to get a new sofa and, and uh, get a sofa bed for here, but um, we opted not to at the moment. I just got this pillowcase in the mail the other day. I'm so excited to have some festive pillow coverings. And this one I got uh, this year as well. We got Bumbles all dressed up as uh, Santa Claus. So he's all ready to hand out the gifts. <laughs> Uh, we've got a Christmas party that we're going to Christmas Day, so, um, yeah, we're going to do a little gift exchange. It's going to be fun. So this is a new tree that we got this year. Um, this one is a snow, I, I guess they call it iced Christmas tree. It's only seven feet tall, seven and a half feet tall, but it looks taller in this camera. Um, it's, it's lovely. As you can see, it's got the little bit of a dusting and glitter. Oh, I love the glitter. Tis the season for everything glitter. So yeah, I love the ornaments that went on it. It's, it's got a really, uh, I'm going to say natural shape. I wish you could see the whole tree. Maybe I'll have that as my, uh, as my uh, uh, thumbnail. I'll take an actual uh, photo from farther away. Um, yeah, it looks more natural. Really, really cool. I got these Prinsettias this year. Um, I'm not good with growing poinsettias. Uh, they, uh, they dry up too fast for me and then I don't water enough and, and they just uh, they don't do well. But I love the Prinsettias and I, uh, I, I really like them to, to last a little longer. So maybe I'll try my best to keep them moist and don't let them dry out. <laughs> That's the trick, keeping them evenly moist. Uh, just uh, looking in the window, this is the... Um, uh, what is it? The sense of area, the starfish, the bonzo or whatever it's called. Yeah, and then there's that uh, little, I don't know, maybe an a aeonium. I'm not sure. Irish bouquet is what some people were saying it was, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so did I show you the Bakota again? It's just starting to open. I hope it's going to come into focus. Uh, it's hard for it to come into focus. As you can see, the, uh, the, the spikes are leaning against the, the, the sticks, and it will uh, stop it from flopping. So that's perfect. Oh, I should have removed my, uh, my tripod. Oh, Bill, Bill, is this your first video? Sometimes I think so. <laughs> so anyway, this is um, uh, a lantern that we've been using for, for a few years. And uh, I love snow globes in, uh, over the season. They're so pretty. Uh, so these ones we found. Uh, a few years ago, and it's like uh, it's like Christmas every time we open up the boxes. Oh, we've also got some uh, some decorations in the window, just a few presents and some uh, some figurines, just uh, extra festive. Let's go into the hallway, and uh, we've got door stops everywhere. 
I love I love that we have doorstops all over the place. These little uh, gnomes or I'm not sure little Christmas guys are so cute. I like those a lot. And then there's this um, this snowman. Please come into focus. Come into focus. Let's try to get you in focus. There you go. And he hops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I saw him in the store and I couldn't stop playing with him. So. Uh, he just seems so happy to me. You need things like that over the holidays. And uh, we've got the Grinch Village. I'm not sure why this turned off. I had it turned on. Let me go and press the button. There we go. Now it's turned on. So we've got uh, uh, Mount Crumpet and we've got a bunch of other little, uh, little town uh, homes. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called and little Grinch people all over the place. They're just uh, hanging out in the snow, <clears throat> doing what they do. I really enjoy this. This, uh, this uh, set we try to add to every year. We try to get another house. They're quite expensive. We get them from a, a store here in Canada called Canadian Tire. Um, I think I've seen them on Amazon as well, but uh, Canadian Tire is where we buy them from. And we've got some more stuff under the table. Just, uh, just hanging out. Some more stuffies and stuff, doing what they do, and let's see over here. So in the main living room, we finally got a fireplace, as you can see. Uh, if you remember from the original tour, uh, there was no fireplace. It was just uh, um, a blank wall. We want to get built-ins for either side, but right now we just have shelves and Ikea cabinets and whatnot. So, so yeah, it's really, really nice. And we do the gar garland up the up the uh, the staircase. We've got some um, some uh, sconces with some festive uh, greens in there, and vases and whatnot. There's a little bit of everything going on in here. <clears throat> I should have turned on the fireplace for a festive video, but again, I did not. I forgot. We got uh, more stuffies. We 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 loved our little uh, we love our little stuffed animals. We have them all over the place. So I usually have the uh, the um, the stockings. Why can't I get the words out? Why didn't the fireplace come on? There we go. It's coming on now. Usually we have the uh, the stockings hung up on the uh, on the fireplace, but because we have the fireplace on, I think it's a little bit of a fire hazard. Uh, it just gets really really hot above the fireplace. So I don't want them to melt. So we have all kinds of fun little things here and there. We've got the cute little glass trees and, and the little snowman. This snowman is adorable. Hope he's going to come into focus. Um, really, really like him. I love the snow that we have all over the place. We have little butters. After our Christmas party, he found himself up here and we haven't moved him down. I think it's cute. He's watching out over top of us. So just uh, stuff everywhere. We like to change things and move things around and uh, just put Christmas in every nook and cranny. Makes you feel good. So we bought this little deer this year. He is adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we looked at him and said, oh my god, he has to be in our little collection. So we usually buy one or two pieces every year. Uh, and we usually buy things on sale after the season, but uh, some things we buy a full, full, for full price because it's hard to find good things at, at the end of the season. Everything's picked over, so you get the things that, that really mean something to you in the beginning, and then you, you fill up on things when they come on sale. So yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening, and we love it. And then we've got another little uh, scene over here. That snowman is really, really cute. Um, he's kind of creepy, but he's really cute at the same time. I don't know. There's something horror movie, but very uh, picturesque about him. <laughs> I don't know. So, and then some trees over on this side. And then in the window, we've got some more stuffies. As you can see, we have a deck now and a hot tub and a sectional. Uh, that all got done just before Halloween. And... Uh, so when we start doing videos in the springtime, you go, you guys will uh, come out and see it. So yeah, another little stuffy. 
We got this Hoya. It's very good at Hoya. It's doing lovely in this window. It really likes it. It's, it was flowering for, I don't know, I'm going to say three or four months, and it finally just stopped, and it flowers every year, and uh, it seems to really like my little uh, bit of neglect that I give it. I try to water it regularly, but uh, regularly for me is probably once a month for this guy, because even though it hangs right above me, I forget about it. <laughs> so, and then over here we've got another uh, Princetta. This one is really, really pretty. Let's see if we can turn on the light. Does that help it? I'm not sure. It's amazing to me that this is a four inch pot and it just feels like it's so much bigger. Uh, they're such full plants, the princetas. So this is a fun little guy. This is Moose and he's riding on a little, uh, a little reindeer. <laughs> I don't even know. It's the things we do, uh, the small things. And another little princetta up on here with some, some presents all around and a little salt lamp that looks like the moon. It's really pretty. Um, and then another little little uh, penguin. And over here, a table full of cards and lint chocolates. No Christmas is Christmas without lint chocolates, I think. <laughs> we always buy a lot of them for the party and people just go through and pick their favorite flavors. And another Christmas tree. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sick. My voice is cracking. It always cracks, you say. Um, this one is is a tried and true Christmas tree. We like to go with a slim Christmas tree. This is in the kitchen dining room, and uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but it uh, it really makes a statement, and uh, the neighbors can see it from behind. They enjoy seeing it. They know it's time to start decorating for Christmas when they see our Christmas trees going up. <laughs> and then this is the kitchen. Please don't. Uh, oh, you can't see it. There's dishes in the sink. <laughs> Who doesn't have dishes in their sink? So we got um, uh, some poinsettia uh, pots that, uh, that we bought for the party. Um, again, the poinsettias are probably going to die. Uh, the, the cyclamen, I used to be good at growing cyclamens, but um, I don't know. I, I, I try and then, and then they just uh, fail on me. I know that they've got a bulb, so I could probably try to, try to get them to go dormant and then, uh, and then grow them again. Sometimes I just don't have the time. I want to keep these, however, the Frosty Ferns. I think those are really, really cool. I think I'm going to make a little terrarium for it, and uh, I'll probably do that right after Christmas. I'll uh, I'll pop it out and uh, and put it in a little, little I can't even talk a little glass bowl, and uh, hopefully it'll look nice. Maybe we'll do that in a video. So let's uh, let's turn around. Oh, above the sink, um, we've got the Rick Rack. The Rick Rack goes in that window over the winter time, and there's not nearly enough light. The second I bring it in, the second it comes in, it gets uh, really, really spindly growth that doesn't have any rick racking at all. This is what was happening when it was outside and it was beautiful and, and it did amazing. And then I bring it inside and it just shoots up with all of its little roots and, and, uh, and spikes and I hate it. So I might end up putting this down in the grow room and put it under some really intense lights and hopefully get it to grow better. Uh, but it goes outside in the summertime and it does so much better. And then here I've got a little variegated ficus uh, elastica and a phalaenopsis orchid and a uh, crown of thorns, a euphorbia mealy. So I really like the euphorbia mealy because it, uh, it always has flowers. I don't know whether you're able to see that very well. The screen is really, uh, is really throwing things off. But uh, it flowers in low light, it flowers in high light, it flowers just all the time. So, uh, yeah, so let's just quickly go upstairs. Oh, and our table, this is, this is such a pretty view. This is what I look at every morning. It's so nice. It, I should be more festive, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not in that spirit right now. On the table, this is one of my favorite uh, things that we got. We got it last year, and it's a melted snowman. How appropriate is he's sitting by the fireplace? <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, uh, so yeah. Um, a lot of candy dishes, a lot of remote controls. I should have uh, picked all those up, but uh, you can't live without your million remote controls in this day and age. So let's go up the stairs. And we finally got our stairs done. I don't know, in the original video, the stairs were all messed up. Uh, I don't even know if the stairs were stained at the time, but they certainly didn't have a clear coat. I know that they've been refinished since the last video. We've got uh, this little mouse sitting on, the, uh, on this vase. This vase usually lights up. Why is he not focusing? Aww. 
Focus. Here we go. Oh. Focus. There. Oh. He doesn't want to focus. There we go. He's focusing in now. <laughs> Took it long enough. For goodness sake. Sorry about that. And then we've got a little uh, cactus succulent uh, planter. This isn't a self-watering pot. I water this very infrequently. Um, I've got a little water gauge in here. So I wait for that to go down to complete minimum. And then I wait about a month. And then I fill it up. I fill it up to max. It doesn't take long before it goes right back down to min because it's going to rehydrate re or moisturize the soil. And uh, then I just let it sit for about a month. And it seems to be doing really, really well. Occasionally, some of the plants, I believe this is a Haworthia in here. That one needs a little bit more water. So I do spot water from time to time if I see something looking a little bit sad. I really like the uh, eupho euphorbias. Um, the uh, Echeveras. This one is purpureum or purpurosum, and then I'm not sure what this one is, but it's another Echeveria. And then this is a lifesaver plant. For whatever reason, it really enjoys. Did you see that one? I don't. I don't know. I wasn't looking at the viewfinder. Um, this uh, lifesaver plant has been blooming and blooming and blooming. It actually just recently stopped in the last month. Um, it would only have one or two blooms at a time, but it was blooming all spring, summer, and into fall. It was pretty amazing. We've got a little uh, little pot of uh, uh, poinsettias, fake poinsettias, because uh, those ones will last forever. <laughs> Unlike other poinsettias for me. And now we're going back up the stairs. And then this is the last room for the tour. And we've got another Christmas tree up here. It doesn't have a topper. We're trying to find toppers for our trees, but we can't seem to find any that are really appropriate. Nothing that screams us. So... It'll, it'll happen. We just don't want to buy things for the sake of buying them. So these are the amaryllis that we planted and uh, like the one downstairs. Oh my goodness. I haven't been looking at these in a long time. Uh, actually, since uh, forever, really, since we planted them. I put them out here and uh, this one seems to be doing three flower spikes. Look at that. One, two, three. That's going to be an amazing one. Not sure what, what this one is. Or I'm not sure what this one is, but this one's got a nice tall spike. One of them is Peacock, and the other one is... Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember whether it was just a red, but uh, we'll go back in the old videos and check it out. But I'm so excited to see them grow, and uh, I can't wait to see how the, it looks with the leaves and the sticks. Uh, these ones I didn't put any decorations in because they're not downstairs. Uh, everybody that comes over uh, for the party, they all stay downstairs. So there was no necess not necessary to, to decorate absolutely every inch. And over here we have um, Anthurium. I hope this is coming into focus. This is the Anthurium that we uh, did the division and uh, repotted uh, maybe a year ago. And it's doing amazing. It's got four flowers on it. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do because... Um, before, I only had two main plants, and I would only get two flowers uh, at most at a time. Now I'm getting four flowers, and there's probably going to be more coming, because there's all kinds of growing areas down here. So for every growth uh, tip, there should be a flower. So eventually, in time, this is going to be a really full plant. I'm so excited. Um, it took a long time, but it's doing really, really well. And uh, here is a papilo, my uh, Psychopsis papilo. Um, it's not doing too bad. It's got, I think, two or three good flower spikes. I haven't cut off the old icky ones, uh, but here is one that's just just starting to open up. How beautiful is that? It looks kind of wonky, but uh, it's one of my orchids that doesn't have mealybugs, and I'm so happy that it doesn't. And then beside it, we have the um, um, Sansevieria cylindrica, and it's doing a beautifully. It likes this window, and see, it's got some flower spikes. Uh, for Sansevieria, it's very difficult, or not difficult, it, they don't flower very readily. It's not like an every year thing that, that you usually get flowers, uh, especially as a house plant. Outside, different story, it's more their environment. But in the house, you, some people never have flowers on them. But this one's flowered two or three times for me, and I love it. Uh, they're not terribly showy blooms, but uh, it's a flower nonetheless. So that is my Cylindrica, and it takes up about a uh, four foot area it's so wide 
this window is about four feet and it uh, it goes from edge to edge and it actually is a pain in the butt because when you try to watch TV the damn thing is poking right in your view of, of the television so uh, as much as I love it I, I try to keep pushing it to the side and pushing it to the side but it really likes this window as you can see I don't water it very often uh, let it get completely dry and then I water it well I water it until the water drains out the bottom and then uh, and then let it sit and let it dry out completely again and then over here oh this other tree has turned off I wonder why all right so my, my lights are turning off I don't know why that's happening so this is another tree this is right outside of the the bedroom and uh, it's really nice to have this as a nightlight when you're going to bed um, to, to have it light your way because uh, we usually don't have a lot of lights on in the house we just go by the uh, the Christmas lights or we have a couple of night lights and uh, this is the night light right now so what a beautiful night light it is it's one of my favorite trees um, I really like the, uh, the the dusted ornaments we, we dusted them with uh, with some snow and uh, just some spray glue and some of that uh, cheap uh, powdered snow and it uh, looks beautiful it looks beautiful we actually don't take the ornaments off this tree we just put a garbage bag over the tree <laughs> and put it downstairs so it never gets undecorated we don't see it it's not out and about but uh, we just put a garbage bag over it so we're not knocking all the snow off and then here is my favorite Sansevieria and uh, one of the cuttings that we took uh, is still good um, I'm waiting to see little uh, little growths coming from there but uh, there's no growths at the moment I'm really careful with this one because it's not getting the light that I'd like it to get and that's probably why the growths aren't aren't coming as fast and furious as I'd like them to come uh, from the from the, the cutting but uh, I'm trying to keep it on the dry side because as we all know if it doesn't get a lot of light you don't want to water it that often especially with something that's uh, that's like this that doesn't really want a ton of water anyway you're gonna water it even less if it gets less light so anyway yeah I just wanted to show you a couple of plants during this tour and uh, we also have a little uh, vase of ornaments up on the second window it was really hard to get that up there we had to get a ladder so to get it down we'll probably end up forgetting about it when we're taking the decorations down and then one day we'll be like oh all right well let's 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 get rid of that <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this uh, this tour. Now the mouse wants to come into focus first go, which is fantastic, but uh, too little too late. So anyway, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday and a uh, Happy New Year. My goodness, it's, it's coming up fast and furious. I'll probably have a video before then, but uh, hopefully everybody stays safe and stays happy. And uh, until next time, happy growing.